dear students we are going to discuss the subject strategic human resource management for the fifth sem bba of bangalore north university we are going to discuss the concept establishing strategic plans in the complexities in international compensation management a recap of the previous class approaches to the international compensation learning objectives of the chapter the chapter aims to provide an understanding of global hr session outcome the student will be able to explain the complexities in international compensation management introduction the rewards can be intrinsic and extrinsic intrinsic rewards is a feeling of pride of a job well done and achievement extrinsic rewards includes praise from the superior salary employee benefits career progression etc compensation is extrinsic reward for an employee international compensation is a key issue in the international human resource management complexities in international compensation management exchange rate fluctuations varying tax rates varying inflation rates varying local conditions country perspectives contingency and equities employee expectations varying cost of living and varying requirements for the facilities so these are the complexities in international compensation management the salary and benefit levels vary from country to country cost of living varies widely among countries for example cost of living in tokyo is three times higher than that in new delhi that is india varying requirements of providing housing and medical and health facilities for employee family members and social facilities for employee children in different countries for example most of the companies in papua new guinea provide free housing and free medical and housing facilities for employees family and school fee for the employees children as a part of compensation package for the expatriates while the mnc's in usc do not provide these facilities as a part of compensation package varying salary levels of expatriates in the respective home countries these salary levels are viewed as opportunity cost by the expatriates while accepting compensation package for their foreign assignments for example an mnc in singapore attracts employees from india and philippines at a low salary level whereas it attracts employees from usa and japan at the very high level salary this is owing to the reason that salary levels in india and philippines are normally low when converted into singapore dollars and the salary levels in usc and japan would be very high when converted into singapore dollars foreign exchange rates fluctuate widely varying tax rates for example the effective personal income tax rate is as low as 0 in the most of the arab countries and it is as high as 54% in sweden varying rates of inflation and deflation among the developed and developing countries varying local conditions in the host countries in the terms of cost of living availability of housing and medical facilities school facilities and security situations that require the mncs to design different pay packages for different countries students here are certain multiple choice questions question number 1 dash refers to the monetary benefits offered and provided employees in return of services they provide to the organization 
answer is A, that is direct compensation. Question number two. Dash refers to non-monetary benefits offered and provided to employees in lieu of services provided by them to the organization. The answer is B, that is indirect compensation. Question number three. Which of the below is not a part of indirect compensation? The answer is D, that is conveyance. Compensation management is dash and dash total compensation package with the systematic approach to providing value to the employees in exchange for work performance. The answer is A, designing and implementing. The purpose of compensation includes, answer D, none of the above. Students, here are certain references. 